I'll save current level. Make sure it finishes building. Okay, got quite a few things here. All right, let's exit out of a generic browser. And what I want to show you now is if I want to paint, first of all, you have to have a strength. What do you want to do? You want to paint. Uh, you can click on paint and you can take and move your strength up to whatever you want. Uh, move your radius up to how big of a radius you want to paint with or your fall off, which is usually below your radius. Uh, then you come over here to what you want to paint with. Now you need to move it up one slot if that's what, if you want to paint with that. Uh, you come over here and move along the here. This is our terrain, and you can hold down Control and just click, and you see it actually painted a piece of uh, grass in there on a patch there. And you can do that. You can just hold it down and click. And notice also, I'm moving. I'm making a mountain. I'm actually moving up because I had the height map highlighted. Uh, also, I don't know. But I'm actually moving it up. So I've actually made a terrain of grass. And if you want to do uh, other things, Anytime you do something, though, you, you want to build all and save. I'm just going to show you some things. But you want to build all and save so because it, it has to remember what it's doing here. If you don't, this editor will probably crash on you. I, I was painting, actually painting, moving the mountain up and painting at the same time uh, a certain material on our terrain. I'm just going to click File, Save Current Level. You can change it anytime you want. Uh, now say for instance I want to make a bigger radius or more strength. Uh, I'll make a bigger radius. Do a fall off. Alright, so I'm gonna come over here somewhere and turn around so you can see the old one too. And what I'm gonna do this time, I'm gonna move show you something. I'm just gonna click on dirt and I'm gonna hold down control and left click. And see I painted grass because grass is the first one on the list. So if you take dirt and you move your dirt up to the top, let's see. Let's see if it'll let me do. I'm still painting grass. All right, all right. Take your grass and move your grass down, and see your dirt comes up top. All right now, if you paint. It's dirt. It's because what I did, I had to move the grass down because the dirt wouldn't move up to the top. So you have to, sometimes you got to move things up to move things down. So I'm painting, and you notice it looks like it's painted in squares. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to show you something else here. Let me build all and save that. And you can move these up and down depending on how you want to paint on your terrain. I'm going to show you what each one of these do actually. These are actually patches. If you look here, you see these little squares in your top viewport. That's actually what this just painted. It's one of them little squares. But you can also paint the area where it doesn't look like a square. Uh, the current level. Say for instance, uh, let's click, let's see here. Let's click this one here. And let's move this rock up. dirt down or move this down move this down 
Move my rock up to the top. Holy cow, how'd I do that? Oh, that was weird. I, that's the first I ever seen of that. How about that? Huh. That's a new one for me. A psychedelic terrain. Why did it do that? I don't know. Let's build all and see. It's missing a shader. Missing a shader map. Resources. Box one. I think the editor acts kind of crazy sometimes. Uh. Okay, we'll X out of that. Why it's missing a shader, I don't know. That particular material is saying it's missing a shader on it, or a uh, material on the shader. So how about that? So, let's try in this way again. paints it now that was weird never seen that happen before and it's actually painting under it I believe if we probably close out our editor and reopen it I think it's just a bug but anyway you can see the different things you can do smooth paint paint uh, you want you want to uh, bring up a mountain, uh, whatever. Right, let's see if this does this again. Yeah, you just want to paint an area. You hold down Control and just paint your area like that, and see it paints out of the square, so you can get an idea what you're doing there. If you want to raise and make mountains, then you come over here where it says Paint, and you're going to be using the material that you've chosen, and you just bring it up and it will actually create a mountain there we go and uh, see I raise that up by holding control and left clicking and I made a few mountains there so we'll go on and save this it's really not that hard it's just knowing what you're doing, figuring it out, learning to work with the edit. You can look at the graphics of the newer games compared to the older games, and they've come a long ways. All right, we got some rock here. We want to create a little dirt around the rock. So I'm going to move this up. I'm going to make the radius smaller. Change the strength. And so I'm going to just whoop. now say for instance I did that but I just I just want to paint. I don't want to raise any mountains. Just wanted to paint. I don't want to raise any mountains, so now I'm just painting. I'm not raising any mountains. I'm just holding down control and left clicking is all I'm doing. Give you an idea of what's going on here.